Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Two Arrows, and today we're going to talk to you guys about our Obsidian Flames pre release event that we went to this past weekend. We actually went to two pre release events this weekend, but we only competed in one of them. We competed in a Saturday pre release at Collected in Fort Worth, Texas. And I'm not going to lie, I had a lot of fun there. Uh, it was the first time I think they've ever run one of these before, and they did a great job. Uh, there was a little bit of confusion at the beginning, but it was a really, really fun event to go to. We ended up picking up a prize pack which will open but we'll also be opening a couple of other packs uh, our deck went one and two we ended up getting the togekiss and camera up deck which it can be a really crazy deck if you get enough cards into it but unfortunately the first game we did not get our loadout second game we did and it was very competitive and i could have won that game and it, it went back and forth the very final two plays it w I would have either won if he was not able to knock me, or he knocked me, obviously, and won the game. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, and then the second game, it was kind of annihilation. I got I got my setup right away, and I straight sweeped him. It was a lot of fun, though. I had a great time. I hope you guys had a great time, too. As far as pulls go, we got the Larvitar uh, special or not the regular illustration rare. We're gonna pull a couple of packs. I hope you guys had a fun time. I didn't really get to see all the different decks. I know there were a couple of them. Uh, the Toxtricity one in particular is ridiculous because it has the ability to... It, the the tack is more powerful if you have different types of Pokemon on your bench. So if you just load up your bench with randomness, it can be very devastating. I uh, thankfully was not a victim of that, but I saw somebody use that deck and I was like, wow. The Togekiss in this deck was really nice as well because it had a 110, I believe, attack that only takes two energies and the only bad thing is, is that you have to move one energy off of it to another pokemon at the end of the turn but that's actually not a bad thing either because you can kind of load up on the camera up which uh you know you can get another pokemon loaded up and you can just keep doing this and refreshing has a zero retreat as well it's a that toga kiss is a really really nice card for obviously i don't think it'll ever be competitive competitive but it's a lot of fun for pre-release and it was a good time uh we're gonna go ahead and open some packs of obsidian flame or yeah of obsidian flames we ended up pulling some we got some packs at our next location uh we went to another event but we didn't stay because that was also at the time that pokemon go had the polywag event for a community day so i had to go get my polywag shinies uh so i can get my polywrath and my poly toad and i did i did we ended up getting some pretty cool stuff uh when we we're out and about but uh let's go ahead and uh not do that uh let's go ahead and open up a couple of packs of obsidian flame i'm gonna play some music on the back in the background so that you guys can uh hear some vibes while we're unpa unpacking some packs so we got three bonus packs from pre-release and we're gonna go ahead and open up this battle but this battle <laughs> this battle build a battle first my goodness i can't speak english today i hope you guys are having a really good day i i've never opened up a prize pack before so uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun too that is what collected gave you and uh the other location did have a regular pre-release event where you could you know you get regular packs of obsidian flame it was it was different i've never experienced where you get prize packs instead of actual obsidian flames packs i don't know if that's a a thing at other locations, uh, definitely let me know what you guys get when you go. I, I've only ever gotten two to three packs of the set. They usually get a booster box, and uh, it was it, it was their first time doing something like this. So I, I, I'm not sure how it all goes. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. And look at that. We got the Cleffa. That's a beautiful, beautiful pre-release card. It's actually one of the ones I really wanted. I don't know about the deck itself. But it was definitely one I wanted. You know what? Let's open up the deck and see what it has inside. Because we're gonna, we're obviously gonna have this in our promo collection for Scarlet Violet. And by the way, uh, if you don't know, tomorrow is the launch of Vault X is gonna release their new uh, binder for the set. So that's gonna be nice. Okay, so this is the uh, Camera Up Toxtricity deck. So this Cleffa. Draw cards until you have seven in your hand. It doesn't even take... It's not an energy or nothing. It's literally... They, it don't do anything. Except for that. Interesting card. I am happy with it. This is a nice little cutesy Cleffa card. Cleffa's cute. Let's go ahead and put this baby in a sleeve. 
for my Scarlet Violet promo. And yeah, it's another camera up Toxtricity. So this is uh, potentially one of the decks I went up against. Let's actually look at the, uh, I'm just curious what all of this contains. So a lot of fire, a lot of electric. You got the camera up and then you just basically a couple of psychic Pokemon that, uh, yeah, just uh, you don't even have psychic energy in this deck. You just have a psychic Pokemon. So if you didn't add any energy to it, you can search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon. So this is a good one if you're trying to evolve Toxtricity and you don't have Toxels or Numel to get camera up. So interesting deck. All right, now we got um, seven packs of Obsidian Flames. And at the end of this, we'll open our prize pack. It'll be fun. Let's go ahead and see what we get. First time we ever open up the set on stream. So that's pretty exciting. Look at that LeChonk. Oh, that artwork. Very, very dope. LeChonk already coming in with some pretty dope cards. I think uh, in this set, we get a LeChonk um, illustration rare, I believe. We got that Bar Brooch. I kind of hope that eventually they bring back shiny Pokemon, like in regular basic cards. We got the Wiglet. That uh, Squobit. Very, very cute. Nine Tails looks really nice. Nine Tails also has uh, Illustration Rare. We got a uh, Poti Geist, a Toad Scroll, a Seismitoad, a very cute Rowlet, and a Palafin. Let's make sure that we didn't get any trainers because you remember I've been uh, trying to make sure that we kind of separate the trainers. Okay, next pack. I don't know how 100% we're gonna make this one. I don't think we're gonna collect on all, every single um, reverse hollow like we did in the previous set. All right, let's keep going. We got a Togepi, which I saw this card in the uh, the deck that I was using, very, very cute. We have a Bonsly by that Pokemon Center in that little jungle area towards the, I think, top of the map on the right side. Very, very cute. The Dolive. Time Pole. I love this Time Pole. I love the artwork on that one. That's a really nice one. We got a uh, Dara Manitan, a Dartrex, a Frog Deer, a Whiskash. Cute Pokemon. That Barbroach that we really liked. And a Thunderous. Look at that. We got a Strong Boy in the house. I didn't even know Thunderous. I, Thunderous is one of my favorite Pokemon Go Pokemon. Because uh, his lightning attacks are incredible. I had no idea he was in the set. So now I know. I have tried to stay away from people uh, <laughs> ruining the set for me. Uh, Palpia Toad. This card is... Look at that. It's got like a, an indention on it. Uh, we got None of the other ones do though. It's weird. Alright, a Zigzagoon. A Scyther by a Pokemon Center. And uh, I believe that's the school, or is, is that the... No, that's sort of the, uh, the final four battles you have pretty much in the game uh, to, to win your championship or there, I believe. There's a Meltan, a Soul Rock, Doug Trio, that uh, Houndstone. Houndstone has some pretty cool cards already. Uh, Buzio. Buzio does too, honestly. Oinkaloin. And a Poppy. Full art trainer. Very nice. Okay. What does uh, this guy do? It is move up to two energies from one to another Pokemon. That's actually a pretty nice. Uh, it's a pretty sick trainer. All right. That that was part of the building battle that we just got. So that would have been in the building battle. Very, very nice. Let's see if we could uh, pull something else. Here we go. We got a... I don't know if we will. Surskit. Numel, we definitely saw that Numel a lot. Griever, Griever's one of my favorite new Pokemon, by the way. Uh, Phantom, Stunfisk, yeah, they, I, I like the, the dog Pokemon they put in this set. Ten out of ten. Wog Trio, ooh, that Dragonair is beautiful, and I know we're about to get in one fifty one a really beautiful illustration. Where I'm very excited about that. Uh, we got a Finizen, and Finizen's very cute, by the way. Uh, the Finizen shiny is like purple. And a Tyranitar 
EX Terrastalize. Regular. Double rare. Beautiful. I love that it's an electric Pokemon card. So its weakness will actually be kind of what it normally is. I think that's really cool. Very nice. That was a nice build and battle. We wouldn't have been able to evolve anything because I don't think we got a Larvitar or Pupitar here. All right, we got the three bonus packs. Let's see if we can pull uh, some more fire. We got the uh, Lillipup, very cute card. This, I believe, this set's a little bit smaller. Toxo, Charcadet, Ponyard, Buffalon. I think Buffalon had some pretty cool attack too. This Pokemon takes 20 less damage from attacks after applying weakness and resistance. Yeah, just just uh, the dang Poke Power, Buffer, or the Buffer, Buffer. Very, very interesting card. Uh, Crabominable, King Gambit. Young Goose, by that little Dragonair Fountain, that's really cute. Float Zell, and a Glamora EX, and somebody actually had this and was able to fully evolve their Pokemon uh, during the during during the competition. It was nuts. An EX, if you could have an EX in a pre-release, your game. As long as this Pokemon is the active spot, your opponent ha can't have more than three bench Pokemon. If they have four or more, they have to discard the bench Pokemon until they have three. Oh my god, that's gross. Okay. We got two more packs. We got the Dragonite packs here. I don't know if this Dragonite have a secret illustration or anything in this set. I don't know. Curious. All right. Houndour. I did get a Houndoom EX. From my packs as well, but I did not. We were not able to uh, get the female combi. The male never shows up in any cards. We got a Diglett, that cute Rowlet, a Mawow, Arvin. I think this is our first trainer, isn't it? Is there no trainers in the set? Stunfisk. We got the Dratini. Oh my god, we got the Artisan gold card and an Entai. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we're pulling the heat today. We've got our first gold card of the set. And honestly, this is one of my favorite cards from the set. It is just so beautiful and colorful. We got one more pack. These seven packs were phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to any more events. But uh, I did get two sets of these, so we're going to do some more openings next week. We got Pidgey uh, in advance for, you know, final, final video. Dartrix. So we'll, we'll, we'll have a couple more packs of this. This is a different Winkleloing, I think, right? Or is this the same one? It's Yeah, they made two different Winkleloings. They made one male, one female, it looks like. Interesting. Okay. We got the uh, Slazzle. That time pool that I really liked. An Oddish and a Scizor holographic. Did we only get one trainer in all of this? Or did I just uh, miss it? Let's see. I am very, very interested now. Because we got a lot of trainers in Scarlet Violet base. And in um, Paldea Evolved. But yeah. Only one trainer in all of those packs. Interesting. I don't know how many trainers. I haven't really checked a look at, you know, taken a look at the, uh, how many cards there are. All right. We're going to open our prize pack. This is our first prize pack ever. So it'll be interesting to see. Series two. Um, some people go a little nuts over these. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not, you know, it, it don't, it's, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to go wild and, you know, spend a ridiculous amount of money on these cards. Uh, I don't know if there's a pack trick on these, but uh, let's go ahead and go through this. This is a Stormy Mountains from uh, Evolving Skies. We got the Power Tablet. We got a Ice Skew. It's a rare card from Champion's Path. We got a Holographic Magma Basin, and I don't think this card was hollow. And a Boss's Orders and an Energy card. Very, very nice. Two Holographic Regulars. I... I mean, I'm happy to get the boss's orders. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That that would be the card that I would want. The boss's orders would be the card that I would want. I'm not going to lie. That uh, makes me pretty happy. Magma Basin, though, holographic, is pretty wild, too, honestly. Um, you can only get this card in holo form 
by getting one of these prize packs, I would imagine, because it's it's an uncommon card. And I don't remember that card ever being hollow anywhere else, unless it was a reverse hollow. Very, very nice. I'm not gonna lie. I feel, uh, feel pretty good. That was a good time. I hope you guys had a good time watching that. Um, yeah, so next week, it's gonna be the release of Obsidian Flames. Um, if you guys know your local card store and have been there and they have had an event, you will be they will be able to sell Pell or Obsidian Flames uh, early. I think they sell it on the Tuesday that the set releases. So next Tuesday, a couple of days from now, they will allow they will be not, they will be allowed to sell the new product. So call them up. Make sure, take a look, take a check. Make sure they're actually going to get it on time because sometimes Pokemon doesn't send it to them on time. But hopefully you'll uh, be able to get your hands on some of these cards. Um, I'm very, very happy with what I pulled. We got, I think we did real well. Uh, much better than some pre-release events that we've done in the past. Um, obviously, our best one was Silver Tempest, right? Silver Tempest, a lot. one of them we pulled an all art card. It was the Reggie Drago all chart. I believe that was Silver Tempest, right? I might be wrong. Might been might have been Lost Origin. One of the two. We put an all art card, which you guys know, Sword and Shield all art cards are very ha hard to pull. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you could do me a favor, leave a thumbs up, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. But most importantly, tell somebody something nice. It could be the only nice thing they hear all day, all month, all week. Mental health awareness is really important. And if you could, do me a big, solid, click on one of the two videos on the left or right. I'm sure there'll be some content that you'd like. Till the next video, have a fantastic rest of your day. Happy Thursday, almost Friday.